Good evening guys, Jesse from JamW Concepts. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. Two things to deal with tonight. We've got our giveaway reminder ending in just two days, so make sure you don't miss out on that. There'll be links below. Make sure you get involved because that's a really exciting one. And we've got some of the Cocoon Create Gray, Slate Gray, PLA filament to test. So we'll be running that through the printer, seeing how it prints, printability, checking dimensional accuracy, etc., etc. Let's do it. Rightio, all pretty standard stuff. We've got it nicely vacuum sealed with a little silica pack in there, which is good to see. Pretty standard, as I say. Uh, box is nicely coloured, nothing to complain about yet. So let's get her open, let's check dimensional accuracy, then we'll run a little benchy print and see what she looks like. Now, I'm not too sure, some people have different thoughts on this, but to me, that doesn't look like particularly wonderful winding. Some people are convinced that this is uh, the difference between a spool that's gonna, gonna bond and a spool that's gonna print nicely. So only one way to find out. Right, filament gauge. 1.79 was the largest I found and I wasn't able to find that again. 0.02 mil off was basically the largest differential we found and that's pretty much what most filament suppliers sort of quote by. And now we're taking a look at our very, very first print with this filament, just loaded fresh into the printer, whacked into a black Sunlu PLA settings, and look, it printed. It did print all right. There was a couple of little, little, little knobbies hitting around the place, which, which we kind of tried to fix up with some settings changes in the next print, which did help overall. Uh, cranked up the fan and just drop temperature down to kind of one of the lowest PLA temperatures I've used. I think it was about 185 by the end and we got some fairly acceptable prints like this little quadcopter here. And of course, verdict time. Should you rush out and buy this product for yourself? Well, honestly, my answer is probably not. For the price, for the value of money, for the printability, for the quality of the product itself, I think there's better things on the market. I think I'm gonna stick with Sunlu myself. That's kind of my cheap go-to PLA. As far as supporting your local brick and mortar stores, that's a different story, guys. I think you should support your brick and mortar stores everywhere and anywhere you can. Now, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget the giveaway. Links down below for everything we've talked about in this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.